it is time then for round five. The Grand Prix of San Marino heads down towards turn one and look at around here at Mazzano. So Valentino Rossi, there's only 10,000 fans in, usually there's 100,000 fans. <laughs> wow. Rossi to lead the Italian Grand Prix, Keith. What about yes. that? Valentino Rossi. So a slightly reticent Vinales has gone back to fourth place now. But that's not a bad place to recover from if you've got that with a full tank of fuel as well. 11 and 12 is where the big bike boys have been complaining about those ripples in the trolley. Yeah, what's, what's interesting is Valentino throughout this weekend has been about 0.3 point. Slightly surprised as Suzuki starts to get amongst the action, which you might have expected from Rins and Mir. The red uh, numbers are long race game. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But he's just been a little bit reticent. Doesn't quite seem like the confident man that I was expecting him to be. The number 20 there, Rins is going to be all over him in a moment as well on stake. Exactly. And with a full tank of fuel on these early laps, it is a long gold race. Still how many laps to go? 20. Uh, Quattararo. This is going to run though right to the end. It uh, looks like Valentino is reasonably happy to be sloth fresh air as well, keeping his tyres, keeping his bike nice and uh, at the optimum temperature. That is Maverick Vinales this morning. That was horrendous. He was uh, pulled out through injury from the Moto2 race. Quattararo takes a look at the best race tyre. It stays really consistent. And that might mean that we have got a good pace coming from Vinales. The uh, fuel levels go down a bit. Oh, Bradley Smith, Bradley Smith. He's been having... Bradley started in free practice. That catches most of the riders out. Like you said, in free practice one, Bradley Smith was fifth fastest. He's been looking... Uh, he's been... Uh, absence. My reference to Stefan Bradle is purely simply because poor old Stefan Bradle has been having a test. For this championship, um, not look comfortable at all this weekend. Really struggling. To be honest, he absolutely hates this new penalty. Time. Wow. What well, that's for? Oh, will that be, well, for... be for what he did at the start, at the start I suppose? Yeah. Um, don't quite know. But he... Yeah, it is really dirty. So um, it's a bit of a shame for him. Quattararo, by the way, those of you... Pit lane. I know there's a penalty if you stole it on the line. Yeah, well, you were absolutely right with that. Not pit lane, though. No, that is a penalty. And I'd forgotten that pit lane was so far round yeah. those first three corners, so it was an eternity before they could let Sam go. Looking at a lot less than that. Seven points, isn't it, for ninth place? So, uh, Davizioso. Just looking at the lap times, Keith, the camera... The thing looks nervous, it actually doesn't look fun at all to ride. So They're all uh, in the 33s though, it seems off like the quite the fuel to burn down a bit before they actually let the things loose. Quattararo in free practice for did a race. Shouldn't that any different? There's a bit of wind, but there was yeah. a bit of wind yesterday and the track temperature is pretty much the same. I think track temperature, yeah, it is right in the same zone. Mind you, having said that as well, Michelin produce tires that have massive overlap. They seem to suit the riders, whether it's soft, medium or hard. And place. It's KTMs haven't worked here, have they? Nope. They all had to go through qualifying one. Nobody got through to qualifying two. Brad Binder, obviously Grand Prix winner in uh, Bruno, he's behind him in 16th. Bradley, the, the field, but uh, the Quona has that uh, rather long lap penalty to take. We haven't seen him take it yet. Really is playing to his hands and uh, might be a little bit to Davizioso as well. You know, Dovi is, mind you, no. he has an opportunity to blame something. It's always that uh, tyre situation. I'm still surprised. Fine. Yeah, seeing your teammate out front as well is normally something that... Um, no, so Maverick Vinales stays there. And he's got behind him to... So oh, he's starting yeah. to increase the pace. This could drag Maverick Vinales up to the front three. Jack can't quite... Out from under him at Rio. A disaster for the championship leader. So down goes Quattararo. Quattararo not scoring anything. Oh, he's going through the dirt as well. Terrible. Now he's got to clean his tyres up as well. Practice sessions. And there was a reason for that. He was clearly not getting the feeling he wanted from the front. Feeling he tried to push through. Places as he can, though, from where he is, of course, and maximise Quattararo's downfall, as it turns out here. And end is everything here as well. Everything. Here we here go. Oh, that's tight. Hello. Oh, oh look at Mav. Wait. Pass them back the next corner. Just deal with it. So, wow. Got pipped, if you remember, by Mark Marcus right at the end. Mugged, really, on the last lap. This race is wide open. And very lucky fans at trackside. It's normally a hundred thousand people here. I think officially about 95,000, but I think we're not there as you might have guessed. We're at the Triumph visitor experience here in Hinkley, but this is live. It's going to be on the flip. Oh no, oh, you, oh, got that, you got that wrong. Yeah, you he's got in that. There a bit hot, wasn't he? So yeah. that's let through. Uh, back. And how good does Bagnaia look on that Ducati? Do you know what? He just it fits him like a glove, doesn't it? This flip flop is there's an opportunity to get underneath somebody on that uh, flip flop through the uh. Variante del Power. Oh, that wow. is Power. Just blasted past Vinales there and into <laughs> Cavone. Mira, any Maverick Vinales fans out there? I'm a fan. I'm a fan of all the top lads, but we go on about him all through practice. He looks amazing. Now, 
sixth place, soon to be seventh. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's what exactly. I don't get why you would have seen or shine. Doesn't matter. There is a reason you are the only person on that tyre usually, and that usually means you've got to drug test it after the race to see if he wins. <laughs> what it. for? Uh, well, well, you for can what's on his what, for what's on his helmet. <laughs> Morbidelli, Valentino Rossi, Jack Miller are your top three at the moment. Oh, this, this is the crash. Yeah. The oldest feeling I had was that there is something not quite feeling-wise being given back to these riders because they're all specials. Gives us a full-on focus on the M1, the independent team Patron has had three. Exactly. Yeah. So he's got two more in these pockets. So he and needs to, without one of them touching the, the white line or the coloured parts of the, the curbing, you are last lap. All oh, right, okay. And you don't want to, yeah, you don't want a long lap. You're right. Your races. Have you been reading? I'm not taking credit, of course. That's the trouble with two riders in here, isn't it? <laughs> Once upon a time, we had Jules in here. Absolute legend, Tony Jeffries. We all, uh, yeah, wish you well, mate. Take care. Indeed. Bit of a toe, otherwise these youngsters are going to have a go at mobbing the old uh, the goat at and, the end of this. And it's sort of bit. Poor Frankie's. Uh, Dad died when he was young, and you know what I mean. He's had it tough as Frankie, and every time step of the, the top step, of, I'll get there in a minute. Morbidelli will be on the middle step of the podium because that is the top step of the podium. But Valentino Rins, if he get, if he manages to break Miller, I think Rins has got the pace to close down. Agreed. It's, it's not a Ducati track, this. I'll tell you what, though, it goes to show you how well Bagnaia's doing. Look where he is. Yeah. Back, I reckon Bagnaia is going to have Jack. We fairly nearly had him then. Good about it. They look great, don't they, the Pram? It's fun. Everyone that's... Uh, here, everyone, we go. here we go. Up the inside. Magnaia goes past Jack. Yeah, everyone in the team... You've got a great example. We've got of, you know, both the riders from the Pramac team will be going into the motor in the factory Ducati team. Not easily, it must be said. And he is going to close down Rins, it would seem to me now. So Rins... Must go watching the Styrian Grand Prix, watching the young... Yeah, Jean Juan Mia, yeah. you know, literally is not just one that's up for grabs. The championship has been up for grabs all year long. Dovi doesn't. Nobody seems to be able to boss this championship. Now, Mia's still only 23 years old. It's only his 23rd race in MotoGP. Likewise with Bang Nair. It's only his 24th lap. So, Bang Nair is going to have hold of Rins, and Rins is after Valentino Rossi. This is going to be a real fight for the podium, is all. Nothing like it. I thought, it, nothing like I thought it. it was Quattararo and... Um... Vignales, it was all he's doing what we have seen many times, sort of struggling back in seventh. Plus 0.4. Back not up, that's for sure, but um, I think the warning he had regarding that shoulder, that arm, he has to wait. And more significantly, that's half a second faster than Valentino. The gap is up to 1.6. Near enough. Think, yeah, yeah. He's pulled the pin, though, as uh, Morbidelli, I think. I think this is what an opportunity for him. First. MotoGP leads this race at the moment. That's the gap that we'll be keeping up. down the order. Anyone else in the 32s? Bang Nair is in the 32s as well. Well, we to guess that just by looking at the 32s as well. The Suzuki's have got pace, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, well, you could just see through that section. I mean, it was a real good example of how different... Jack Miller now, the Ducati will leap away from him yeah. in a straight line, but Mir will be straight back at him on, on the brakes. Joe Mir gets a bit of a, a slap as a warning. It's like a bucket of cold water when that happens. Just wakes you up a little 20th place and well out of the points yeah this is a real opportunity for andrea davizioso to uh now obviously morbidelli in front of him has and he is doing and rins and bagnaia are now into the 32s rossi's Morbidelli a 33 2 from rossi as we wait for the uh, monitor to refresh here 32 8 yeah he's been held up for a couple of laps and uh, that little shake of the uh, rear of it we will get zero yeah they're on him they're right on valentino so rossi I know it's only Numbak if he wants to end up on the podium today here in front of a home crowd. He lives 10 kilometres up the road from here. The M face on the uh, M1 Yamaha, the factory Yamaha in front of him. Rins. Rins on factory ride for next year with Ducati. He's just, he's a class act, isn't he? I think last year he sort of underperformed a little bit and had that horrible uh, leg break the following free practice session in Bruno. I've wondered, ride back. I've wondered for ages why it's at the moment. just incredible. Hello. No, oh, that's it, he's given it up. Day. That's it, done. So, uh, he's worked it out. And pit lane. Quattararo is out of this race. Your championship leader has retired. 70... Rins will stick his neck out, quite literally, and make the pass on Valentino Rossi. It... And, of course, I meant Bagnaia, by the way. You got straight me out on that one. Uh, uh, no. Do you know what? I, I was like... Too late. Too little, too late. You can imagine what the team are thinking. I wonder why they're sending him back out again. And we saw what he was capable of but once he got a bit of fresh air in front of him. Once it, it, different styles of motorbike, Yamaha versus Suzuki's uh, 
extra little bit where it counts through Cavone. Down through turn 11, turn 12. Oh, we go. Oh, it is quite a How strange. Gone, gone they just sent him straight back out yeah, again. Yeah, and I thought I heard a crack. That's that left kink onto the back straight, isn't and, it? And his body language looked... What's really, happened? What, what, what on earth happened then? Didn't, like proper cruising. He's just quite the pits. Just folds, as he? Oh, with a cold tyre. Well, if it's touch and go, if it's drafty as well, and a little cooler than perhaps it's been air temperature-wise, and he got a bit of... Up, though, did he? <laughs> so, here now, we go, then. We're back to... Bittersweet for Valentino Rossi. He's passed by another one of his. Now this is more Bedelli. I still, my heart still beating, thinking it was him that was in the dirt for a moment. But he wasn't going to do that there, was No, he? no, that had been contact. It was yeah. too late. The big question is, and I'll keep my eye on it for you. you can get back into the 32s. Map in three. Rins has been released. Okay. Rossi wasn't giving that one up, Keith. It's because he's after Bang Nia. Yeah. You're seeing Bang Nia disappearing yeah, already. up the track. Yeah, yeah. Eleven. Cavone. The monster corner here at Mizano. Nice, no, cuddly one. It's called sugary drink. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah, I get, I get. I, I, didn't, want be, I didn't want to be promoting something. Place. But where is Alex Marquez in 16th place at the moment? Just outside of the points on the two Repsol Hondas. And he knows his stuff. Yeah. Every inch of the track, and particularly round here, of 32s might have got him close to Morbidelli, but Morbidelli has ridden an immaculate race here. The number with the MotoGP, 25 points he will gain here. And Morbidelli, 11th in the corner, and the Suzuki man just can't get past Rossi. He's going to try for that flip-flop. If you can think of all those tracks he's ridden on before, he's so good in these flip-flops, Rossi. It was wide it was. and deep into there. Obviously, Mia's right there. Tito's OK, although he does look like he's taken a bit of a clout, judging by the way he's stalking. He's properly on it now. Joao Mir is there, he's got a medium front, a medium rear, Rins is on the soft... He's not get, no, he's not getting away as much as I thought he oh, was right, going okay. to, you know. Second place is still up for grabs. I think he's managing 33-2, oh, it's really not over, is it? But uh, maybe Bagnaia has got a tyre situation going on here. He's got... And we're going to find out. Certainly will look good for Paco Bagnaia for most of this race, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's, a, he's lost grip, the grip's gone away, but he dropped off the edge of a cliff, didn't it? Yeah, it makes you wonder if it's... Uh, He's wanting to uh, get past Valentino if he can. Two and a bit left step. <laughs> Not quite like that Ducati in a straight line, that's for sure. As uh, Bagnaia pulls out on the fast bomb yeah. on the M1 Yamaha. It's all a question of whether they get tangled up. With. He's over the line, Morbidelli with a 33-4 again. He's so consistent, you could set your watch by him. He's almost uh, new. Going to, Frankie, this man. What's that, five so, winners? Yeah, five winners in six races, but this is our foot, foot fourth. Yeah. I just can't work out what's going to happen here. No, neither can I. It's, it's, um, I'm, I'm shocked into silence almost. I, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it sounds strange. It's, it's. Uh, God, you can't. Bagnaia Bagnaia out. just leaps away from front tire, hasn't it, for yeah. Bagnaia? Because he's just not got the confidence in the corners. You need the front tire. As soon as he gets on the fast stuff, he wins his first ever MotoGP race and joins his teammate. And there, Mia's look got at him. this. Mia's gone through. Yeah. Mia has snuck. He managed to hang on to that third place. Remember, that's where he is. I don't think he's going to. You know, Mia is young enough and yeah. hard enough. But Mia had the hard rear tyre compound, so he's got a little bit left right as it counts. Online, Joan Mia goes up in the third place. Will it be another weekend that Valentino Rossi has to... It's going to be Franco Morbidelli that wins his first ever MotoGP, but it's going to be Beko Bagnaia. Bagnaia gets second place, Mia gets third place. What a finish that was. Valentino 